everybody. Um, I just wanted to do a quick review on this Porter Cable 20 volt nail gun. Um, this is the PCC 790. I've had it about six months and I've used it probably three or four hundred nails through it. Um, and I wasn't going to do a review because I know there's other reviews out there, but I, I thought that um, I would because I was really impressed with this. And I just wanted to share in case somebody else was thinking of getting one but were on the fence. Um, quick rundown of this unit. It's a 20 volt lithium. Shoots 18 gauge brad nails. Uh, 2 inch down to 5 eighths inch. Holds about 100 nails um, in the magazine. Has a jam clear feature which you flip this little lever up. That exposes where the nails rest as you can see and this lever here you rotate it away from the unit and that will help clear a jam. Uh, I've never had one jam. I've, I've used this particular brad exclusively and I've never had a problem with them. So I've never had to use a jam clear. Um, it's got a, a depth gauge, I'm sorry, a depth adjustment here where you can adjust how deep it'll shoot into the wood. I typically have mine set for fairly flush for what I do. Um, it does come with a belt hook, although I didn't install it on this because I never take mine out of the shop. Um, it weighs about six pounds with a magazine full of nails. And uh, if I didn't say, it holds about 100 nails. And uh, it has a three-year warranty on it, which is pretty cool. They, they say not to oil this unit. I, I don't know where you would oil it anyway, but they say not to do that. So that's just something for a heads up. Uh, the battery, it obviously comes with a charger. This is the second time I've charged this battery. And uh, you can see the light on here blinks when it's charging. When it's fully charged, the light is on solid. So there's no guessing there. As far as inserting the battery, this black tab here is the release button. So you just basically slide the battery in, push it forward until it locks, and then you're good to go. And it actually will stand on the battery as well now. And again, to get it off, just depress that lever, and off it comes. It's kind of hidden. It's really weird because it's, there's no indication to tell you that's how you remove the battery on the unit itself. So if you didn't know, you may think, how do you get the battery off? Anyway, that's how. Uh, currently, I have two inch nails in here, and I just wanted to do a quick demonstration on a couple of pieces of trash 2x4s that I have. And um, it does have a guide. You see, once you push a guide down, um, you have two LED lights there to help you see where you're working. Um, they kind of work. I guess if it was pitch black, they'd be useful. But basically, it's kind of like any other nail gun, just, just press it down until it's seated and then pull and hold the trigger and it sinks the brad in you can see into the 2 by 4 nice and flush this is uh, this is actually redwood this isn't regular pine and and it makes a pretty good connection um, I have been using it for a lot of fine stuff, frames and things like that, and using the shorter brads, and I haven't had any problems, and I've, I've been working with some pretty fine stuff. I haven't had any issues where it left Mars on the wood, um, where it split anything, because it was crazy powerful, but I, I think the power is, is just right, and with the, um, the depth adjustment here, you can sink it below the wood. But like I said, I have mine adjusted to try and keep it as flush with the wood as I can. And it's been pretty accurate so far. So uh, I really don't think there's much else to say about this. Um, oh, every once in a while, if you don't have this depressed just right and you pull the trigger, you'll hear it, it'll do that. So just wait until the motor stops spinning and then press it back against your, your material again and then pull and uh, hold the trigger 
until the nail sets. So I hope this helps you out in making a decision if you were thinking about getting one of these. I can totally recommend it. Um, I have no complaints with it whatsoever. And with the three year warranty and the price that this is, and I honestly don't remember what I paid for it, so I'm not going to say a price because I see that they're available at different prices at different locations, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely. So if you have any questions or comments, you know, hit me up and I'll do what I can to help you out. Thanks and enjoy your day.